Bras Riders a lot of different things to a lot of different people. For some it's the fishing, some the four-wheel driving, the fantastic beach camping, spectacular rainforest. In fact, it's hard just to pick one. For me, I do have a preference for the fishing, but I just can't wait to drive off this barge and onto the island. Someone who shares my affinity for this island is Kent Hindley from MDC Campers. Like me, he's been coming here for holidays his whole life. I don't know about you, Kenno, but you're around that first corner and your brain just switches off. And no, I shouldn't say switches off, but it does. You just switches. look at the beautiful clear water, the sand, clear skies. It switches into Fraser mode. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Terrible, isn't it? Oh, horrible. Unspoiled. That's what I love about this place. In the 40 or so years I've been coming here, the only changes have been Mother Nature's handiwork on reshaping the beaches and relocating the gutters. But what has changed it's the way we access the island. Better cars and better camping gear have made this much easier for everyone to experience. We had a little canvas pop-up tent. If you're lucky, you had a big marquee, and now look, we're, we're pulling a, a camper that's not far off. Uh, the Taj, Mah luxury, yes. Ta Taj Mahal on wheels, they call it. Yeah, you wait till you see all the um, features it's got. I notice you've collected a few Gary Howard fishing rods on the roof too. Yeah, I've been using Gary Howard fishing rods for years now, mate. Years. I hope you've caught a fish on it because we've got a 10 year guarantee. If you don't catch a fish on it in 10 years, bring it back. What about the camper? Like, well, if you don't get a good night's sleep in it, I'll guarantee you that I'll cook your breakfast. Right, that sounds like <laughs> a plan. We've jagged the weather and timed the tides perfectly. On a day like this, 75 mile beach is without a doubt the best stretch of gazetted road anywhere in the country. Part of any trip up the beach involves getting some pippies on the way up, particularly on low tide, where these little bumps that indicate where the pippies are is a sure sign. So don't drive past them, stop and collect your bait. We're headed to Cathedral Beach, a privately run campground about 60 k's from the southern tip of the island. New managers moved in here a few years ago and undertook a complete reno. The facilities are new, the grounds are clean, but they've kept that laid back charm I remember from the early days. The beauty of it is the entire area has a dingo fence around it, which is great for the kids, and there's a few more facilities and comforts. And something that I miss dearly on Fraser Island, you can have a fire. The camp trailer Kenno's brought along is one of MDC's Venture models. The rear fold layout makes it particularly popular for those keen to make or break camp without breaking a sweat. It's as easy as that. Yeah. Tell you what, a tradition I'm happy to, uh, to skip is the big camp setup. Make it too, look too easy. Yeah, it is, too, it is easy these days. And you can just roll in the camp, throw it up, get the fire going, and do what you're here for. Yeah, good too if, you know, like we said, if it's late at night or it's raining or you've got screaming kids and you just throw her up and throw it over and it's ready. Kitchen's ready built in, bed's ready. Nice hard timber floor. Yes, plenty of storage, stereo a, system. Stereo? Stereo, yep, yeah. MP3 player. And then the awning zips in out here. Awning here, double canvas on top, so that's right. a tropical roof. Keeps the sun off you and double protection from the rain. As we settle in for the night, it's time for a break. But coming up in just a moment, we head to one of Fraser's best kept secrets. So be sure to stick around.